So welcome to module 8.6 in which we will be uh, covering the application development using Jack and we will also use some example from project 09 to show you how this is going to work. So we can write certain applications like this, enter the student data ending with Q, uh, uh, right? So, so write a program which will accept name and grade, name, grade, name, grade, name, grade, calculate the grade the averages, uh, average of the grades and uh, and also get the student with the highest grade so we can do this so basically we can declare an array and do this so this tetris game which is finally we are going to play is this uh, this is one application that's developed there's also an ant to tetris bouncing ball demo that has been uh, created these are the space invader thing Sokoban <laughs> has been done on on Jack, right? Using Jack on Hack. Okay. <coughs> so how do you develop this uh, whole uh, Jack application? Put all the app files in one directory whose name is the app name dot Jack. Uh, right slash edit your Jack class files using a standard text editor. Compile your Jack uh, files using the Jack compiler as we had shown and execute your app by loading the app directory which now contains the .vm files into the loading the app directory. So if you have multiple uh, VM files you just click on the app directory as I sh showed you and uh, on the VM emulator we can see this. So we have seen this how to run a Jack application and using the OS we have already seen so for output we could uh, there are different classes in the OS. Uh, so we have class output which can move a cursor, we can print a character, we can print a screen, we can print int, print ln, backspace. So all these things are possible. For the graphics, there is a clear screen, set color, draw pixel, draw line, draw rectangle, draw circle. So almost all these things can be done. For the inputs from the keyboard, I can check whether the key is pressed. I can read a character, I can read a line, I can read an int from the keyboard. This is the entire uh, Jack character set. So the keyboard dot press if you use returns the code of the currently pressed key or 0 when no key is pressed. So 0 is not assigned to anyone and this is the restricted Jack character set. So when I define an architecture, when I define an OS, I have to define my own character set which the uh, hardware should interpret and give it to me. Then this is the math library, you have 8 functions here. Note that our uh, hack architecture does not support multiply and divide as an hardware functionality. It only does addition. So multiply divide is provided as, as a math library here. Uh, and we have min, max, square root and these absolute value and init functions also. Init will uh, init initiate the math library. For string, again there are lot of things that string new string, dispose a string, length of a string, character character at particular location in the string, set the character at a location. So set caret will actually uh, set the character uh, uh, C at the location J, append the character at the end of the string, erase the last character, uh, int value of the, uh, of the string, set int, int J. Uh, backspace, double quote, new line. So these are all some of the uh, string functionalities of the Jack OS. And uh, class array, array has new and dispose, and it's not typed. So I can do, I can store multiple things in the same array, one location integer, one location character, etc. Memory, memory has the following functionalities: peak, poke, alloc, dialloc peak means it will go and read from that address, uh, poke means it will go into the address and write a value. So I can write into a particular memory uh, address and I can allocate function array allocate, uh, function void deallocate. I can allocate an array. So the argument is for an array, memory dot array alloc, uh, memory dot array, al uh, memory dot alloc will give me an array of uh, so many elements size and deallocate it takes an array and deallocates all the values there and it frees all these things and give it back to the heap. There is a sys which will halt the system, 
which will print an error code, which will wait for a particular duration. These are all operating system functionalities. So, we have seen a uh, lot of things like uh, square, pong, average, complex arrays, convert. So, these are all sample programs that are available. You can uh, look at this in uh, 11th project, project 11, right. So, we can see many of these JAK programs, understand these JAK programs. So, the best practice is general watch some existing JAK program in nan to tetrisorg play with the supplied programs say your square and pong, understand the uh, uh, you know uh, user interface limitations, plan your app carefully, implement test and have fun. Uh, so, the technical part is you should write, uh, write the JAK class files, optimizing vision to it later, document some of this, use this as a standard practice compile using JAK compiler, execute using the VM emulator, we have seen this. Okay. So, we can see some of this uh, uh, as a square dance uh, demo, uh, the square which we showed, the up arrow will take it up, down arrow will bring it down, we started looking at this, the X key, EZ key will decrease and increase the square size. Right. Right. So, this has three classes square, square game and main, we saw that as a part of our entire exercise. Right. So, you can look at this square, uh, with the, this is the functionality of the square. Right. So, this functionality is up, up, up down, left, uh, right, the square should move and X and C said it should increase or decrease in size and uh, this Q means game over. So, this is what it should do and uh, so, this how is this app actually designed. These set of slides basically it tells you how the app is designed. Okay. <coughs> so, these are nice ways because the pixels are given here, you have a limited number of pixels within that you need to create all these beautiful things graphics. So, so this is all some very interesting uh, challenges of how do you create these small graphics library. You can create these libraries and start using these objects one by one as a part of this. And of course, the hack IO we have already seen there is a 8 kilobyte screen memory map and one word keyboard map. Uh, So, this is how the hack. Uh, <coughs> so, from a jack language we can say let x is equal to memory dot peak 19003, then it will uh, it will go and write uh, it will get the value 7, because in 19003 actually you see the value 7 here. And similarly, I can say memory dot poke 19003 minus 1 then uh, it will go and immediately set uh, uh, memory to 1111, minus 1 in 2's complement is all 1's, right. So, I can read and write memory using this uh, stuff. <coughs> so, in screen I can say draw dot pixel 4, 10, 1, 15. So, it will go and, uh, so if I put all these screen dot draw pixel, it will print all these 6 dots here as you see here for this. So, I can set the color as uh, 1 or 0, uh, I can draw a pixel, I can draw a line, uh, right? Uh, I can draw a rectangle, I can draw a circle and these are all given as OS screen class to us, right? Normally, uh, uh, this is currently done by the hack CPU in, in, uh, in, in the advanced computing, these uh, functions will be done by the uh, hardware, uh, the graphics card. Right. You have seen NVIDIA and other cards, the uh, those cards will be given the responsibility of drawing these lines etcetera. So, the main CPU will not do these functionalities, it will delegate it to a separate hardware. But in the case of hack, the hack computer, if you say draw pixel, of course, there is a code that needs to execute which will draw the pixels here right? or which will draw the line and rectangle. That will be coming to the hack computer and the hack computer will be executing it. But in the case of uh, real uh, systems, there is a graphics coprocessor, the graphics card, your NVIDIA, Tesla card, etcetera, that will be doing it on your behalf. 
right? And that way the CPU is relieved of some functionalities. Uh, <coughs> so I could have these type of. I'll give. You, we'll show one quick demo of these type of uh, custom drawings. Okay. <coughs> so to sum up, Jazz is a very nice little language. Uh, limitation is it has few control structures, some pe peculiar uh, syntax, no inheritance type of things. It's not a fully fleshed object oriented, and it is very weakly typed. <coughs> so. <laughs> so, this gives the programmer full control especially for writing the OS etcetera. So, we make this language simple enough because we want to teach the essence of how to construct a compiler, the back end code etcetera and that is why we kept this language as simple as possible right. So, so with this we will just show a very quick demo and then end this uh, uh, entire module. The demo is basically that uh, <coughs> on the last part basically we will go and see this bitmap editor. Uh, there is, there a, is a so we so can we basically, can basically uh, 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 so this so is, this a, is complete a complete uh, square, square. It's a bit Sokoban editor. So, I can basically want to make some figure like this. So, I can basically So, I want to make a figure like this. Yes, probably yes, snake or whatever. So I want to make a um, yes figure like this. So I can say generate the code, and this is the code that is generated, right? Now, wow. so this generates a jack code. Now we can go back to your thing and uh, there is a main file main dot jack which will call this a dot. So, this file you need to create main dot jack with uh, class main void main. We have a var bitmap a and do a dot draw bitmap and return. So, bitmap is another class file that you use here. So, in this bitmap you have this jack file and then you can create this method void draw bitmap do bitmap dot draw 10 return and then uh, uh, right now <coughs> from 10 so do bitmap dot draw in this bitmap dot draw whatever you have got as a part of your html file here this whole thing you can cut and paste here so you can cut and paste this entire thing uh, copy and then go back to this um, and then you can just paste it here ok and then right <coughs> this is the whole thing. Now, we can save this uh, whole file. So, this is some very nice interesting way of uh, uh, creating these applications. Now, we can go to your uh, this thing and uh, you can compile this. Uh, this is actually called as bitmap editor. So, it says some error is there, let us
we will just say var int mem address <coughs> and then we can basically run this code. Yes, this is done. Now, let us execute this code as a part of your um, projects. Let us go, let us take the VM emulator, right, and then let us load this particular program which is part of your bitmap editor. This is loaded, yes, and now let us run this program at full speed and see. Now, you start seeing something happening here as a part of your yeah. So, this is a nice way of trying to understand the uh, thing. Right? So, so, this is so you have created a small. Uh, <coughs> you have created a small uh, logo here, right? So, so this is one very nice application. And then, uh, uh, to just uh, sum up this, uh, if you go to your projects and nine uh, inside nine, you have this complete uh, PDF file of the Jack OS API, mm, which contains whatever uh, we have described as a part of this lecture. So, enjoy doing Jack, try to do write some Jack programs, compile it using the Jack compiler, execute it on the VM machine and uh, uh, get familiarized with this language. At least these five pro 6 programs that we have seen, you can get familiarized and there are many more programs on the net uh, and on the also on the NAND, uh, NAND to Tetris .org site. Just look at those program and that is going to be your project 9. So, this is a different project where you do not do much you do not program, but you understand the language and and basically while executing the VM, please go through the different steps, especially when we are calling certain operating system APIs that we have listed as a part of this, right. So, how, how does the operating system support the ecosystem of execution of a program and that is very, very important as a part of this. All the best and we will meet at module 9. Thank you.